but we're taking uh, order now, pre-order, uh, for distribution side um, to get it out to the consumer. So if you can kind of explain to us, how is it that we're able to achieve 480 watts from what looks like a smaller surface area than what I saw last time on the 440. Now, what, what is the impact there on cost? Is this a more expensive module than uh, what we would have it's, been? It's slightly more expensive. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is the International Solar Conference here in Anaheim, California. And this morning I'm joined by Frank Pham, co-founder and managing partner at Aptos. And we're gonna be taking a look at the new Aptos 480 watt all black bifacial module. So Frank, uh, it's good to see you again. Thanks for yes, making time for you. us this morning. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, one of the things that we do, and one of the reasons we come to the shows, of course, is to make sure that our audience stays up to date with all the latest solar products and technology. So tell us about your new solar panel for 2024. I understand it's a 480 watt all black bifacial. Please walk us through it. Yeah, so um, this is our latest generation product for the residential market. Uh, we designed this with uh, in mind that we wanted to provide a high power output panel for the residential market uh, at a very good, um, with technical data behind it, uh, with good thermal coefficient, as well as aesthetically all black, by, uh, very uh, pleasing to the homeowner. Excellent, excellent. Now, one, one of the first things I noticed, just compared to previous Aptos panels that we've covered, it looks like it's a physically smaller panel. So if you can kind of explain to us, how is it that we're able to achieve 480 watts from what looks like a smaller surface area than what I saw last time on the 440? Yeah, so this year we're moving from uh, P-type um, uh, solar cell to an N-type solar cell uh, going forward. Uh, and that provide an ability to get a higher efficiency cell module, um, I'm sorry, a uh, higher efficiency cell and thus uh, getting a higher power output for the same footprint on a module side. And, that, and also provide a very uh, lower thermal coefficient for the, um, for the consumer in a hot temperature. Great, great. Okay, so let's talk about both of those. So in terms of module efficiency, where are we now with this year's model, overall yeah. module efficiency? So this efficiency? particular module will be over 22% in uh, module efficiency um, uh, with uh, the 480 watt uh, module. Okay, great. Great. Now I noticed in the product number here, it, it's, a, it's the 120 bifacial. So, so this is the 120 half, half cut cells? That's correct. Now yeah. are, are these larger cells than what we would have seen no. one or two same, years ago? Same size as last year, 440. So, okay. Yep. So same. It's just a higher cell efficiency. Higher cell efficiency. That's right. And is there anything proprietary that led to that higher efficiency or anything you can share with the audience? Why are we seeing higher yeah. cell efficiency So basically to last um, on the end type, it allows for uh, the new technology, which is uh, Topcon technology. Uh, that allows with the lower thermal coefficient. And the best part is that since it's N-type and there's no oxygen uh, content in the silicon itself, it allows for um, zero LID on that. Interesting. Now, what, what is the impact there on cost? Is this a more expensive module than what uh, we would have it's, been? It's slightly more expensive, uh, but not much more. I think it's uh, one to two cents more per, uh, per watt than the original uh, P-type panel. Got it, got it. Now, with the new cell architecture, has there been any significant impact on uh, temperature coefficient and high, high heat performance? Yes, indeed. Uh, this panel will perform uh, better in higher temp um, temperature uh, environment with a lower thermal coefficient on that. So it should produce about roughly about 4 to 5% more power uh, annually with a lower thermal coefficient. Great. Now listen, this is going to be especially important for those of you that are watching in, in very hot climates like Florida, Arizona, and parts of Texas having a solar panel with a lower temperature coefficient means that it's going to perform better, it's going to hold up better when it has to operate in extreme high heat conditions. So, now this is a bifacial module as well, right? So it, it produces from the backside as well? Absolutely. All right, well, let's go take a look. Okay. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC-coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Okay, Frank, so we're looking at the back of the module now and I can see what, what appear to be just as many solar cells on the back side as on, on the front side of the module. 
Can you run us through, I know it's a 480 watt rated module. Is that both front and back? No, it's actually- Or is there additional um, boost on the back? Correct, so the, uh, the panel is usually only allowed to be rated from the front side only. Um, so the additional power that you gain from the bifaciality of the panel and the backside is all bonus to the consumer uh, on that. Uh, now, a lot of people would think like a residential panel, why would it get more power? Because it's mounted so closely to the roof line. But indeed, uh, people don't realize that the solar cells are quite thin. So quite a bit of light actually passes through the solar cell to the back. So you will get a lot of low light irradiance uh, from the back uh, light of the um, lighting up of the back of the panel when it's mounted to a residential roof. And it tend, uh, typically add about five more percent in power to the homeowner. So you're saying there's sunlight that would pass through the module, re correct. reflect off the roof to surface, and correct. then back, and then be absorbed by the that's back correct. side of the module. That's correct. Okay. Exactly. And so even for residential, you can see about a five percent yes, boost. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Great. Now, again, I'm curious on on the impact on cost. I, I assume it's twice as many total solar cells go into the module. No, now. it's exactly the same uh, amount of solar cell. Okay. It's just that uh, the active um, uh, face of it. Um, it has um, active face on front and the back of the solar cell. Got it. So in terms of cost and weight, it's pretty much the yes, same as exactly a... the same. Excellent, excellent. Uh, as far as availability, is this a product that's available for sale now, or going to yeah, be rolling... it's going to be coming in uh, Q1 of 2025 for the consumer for the residential market. On the uh, commercial uh, side, it's available now on a 550 and a 580 watt uh, panel available. But we're taking uh, order now, pre-order, uh, for distribution side um, to get it out to the consumer. Great. Now, as far as for, for installers, if installers would like to offer your panel as part of their standard offering, um, are you selling direct to installers? Are you selling through distribution? Or we're what? selling it through distribution, but we have very close-knit uh, distribution partners that we work with that will pass through very low margins to the uh, installers and save quite a bit of money that way. Great, great. All right, well, we talked about the module efficiency. We talked about the lower temperature coefficient, the, the, the bifacial nature of the module. Is there anything else that, that homeowners or installers need to know about the new, yes. the new model of solar module? So, the, um, of course, our module is backed by 30-year uh, product uh, as well as uh, power warranty on that. And actually, the uh, newer model here allows a, um, a power warranty that is better than the existing panel in the sense that uh, after 30 years, it's guaranteed to produce uh, roughly about 10% more power than the prior warranty. Okay. I, I know back about two years ago, I, I was personally selling a lot of Aptos solar modules, to, particularly to customers in Florida. One of the things we liked about it is that it had a higher wind rating than some of the other Correct. maybe more mainstream solar panel brands. And of course in Florida, where you have that hurricane threat, having a higher wind rating makes, makes a difference. Absolutely. Uh, is that something you've preserved in the, in the, new, yes, the new model? Yes, absolutely, okay. that's correct. What can you share about that? Yeah, so our panel uh, is highly uh, rated for um, hurricane um, environment, uh, and it's rated for 5,400 Pascal windows from back the backside of the panel. Great, great. Well, Frank, anything else the audience should know before we wrap up today's video? Yes, uh, the main thing is I want to say thank you to the, um, the um, customers that have Aptos on their panel, um, Aptos panel on their roof. And uh, for future installers, we would love to support you all uh, with a US-based company that is uh, very loyal to our customers. So again, thank you for all the support. Great, well, Frank, thanks for the time this Appreciate morning it. and for thank the you. interview. Uh, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch here, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos coming out from the expo here, you can stay up to date and you won't miss anything. But that does it for today. Uh, thanks again for spending some time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.